What is good Foundation Nation? We're out here at Peaks View Park and today we're trying something that was suggested by the comments. I don't remember who said it. I don't know either. Hopefully I can find it uh, and put a little screenshot of who said it. But basically what we're doing today is we're calling it like short pin, long pin. I don't know, two pin. Two pin, there sure. There you go. That's way two more pin. catchy. <laughs> so basically what's going to happen is whoever, we're both going to throw to the short pin. Maybe. Maybe. Whoever makes it into the short pin first now blocks that pin from being used and the other person now has to go to the long pin. So you could just start, like if the first person throws close to the short pin, you could decide I'm going to just go to the long pin, it's not worth it. But remember, if that first person parks it to the short pin and the other person throws it to 10 feet, that person who threw it to 10 feet is putting first because they're out. So. A lot of strategy, maybe, that goes into this. If you, we were accurate, there would be strategy. Yeah, I mean, the idea sounds great, and I think it will be fun. So we're going to play 18 holes out here that way. They all have a short pin and a long pin, and most of the long pins are like 100 feet farther. So should be an interesting video. Uh, who's going first off the tee? You want to flip for it? Call it in the air. Heads. All right, we're going to call it. All right, you get to choose. Would I rather go first? I don't know. <laughs> I think I want to go second. I'm going to go second off the tee. I'll let Trevor go first. All right. Hole one out here is 260 feet to the short, 355 to the long. This is the short pin here. The long just farther and to the right, and Trevor is up first. We're going to attack the short basket here. We're going to see what we can do. No warm-ups, by the way. <laughs> Very important to mention. I turned it over. That's like 40 feet, so ball's in your court. Oh, what is that disc? Go with the sole. Is that a Paige Pierce sole? It's actually the first time I'm throwing this exact the camera one. Would focus so on it. I feel like it'll be flippy. We'll find out. But I think, I think I'm just going to park it, because I don't think Trevor's making a 40-footer first thing in the morning. That's where you're wrong. I hope we'll I'm be, right. We'll be flashing back to that one in a minute. Like, that's well, definitely makeable. Hopefully, 20. Trevor misses first. All right, we're at Trevor's lie. He's got a decision to make. He's so he has that to the basket. These I'm, baskets are so bad. I don't have a guarantee make. You sure don't. I have like a 25 footer. The long basket is right there. This is a tough putt though, and if I have to eat two strokes on the first hole, that's gonna not be fun. Oh man. And my, I have to straddle. <laughs> That's not even a guaranteed up and down at this time of the day. Never was. Honestly, I'm going for it. Oh, he's going for it. Okay. Not what I was expecting. Or me. I had to try and come back at you for that little comment about me not making this putt. Bang. Okay. Yeah, flash back to that clip from earlier, please. Thank you. So I don't think Trevor's making a 40 footer first thing in the morning. All right, so Hunter no longer can go to the short basket. cooked it. Not really, it's like five feet. Watch that tailwind though. <laughs> what? Ends up his three. Early lead. Alright, hole two out here. The short basket is underneath those trees right there and the long basket is across the way. About center frame but over that hill you can't see it. I'm thinking the same thing as last time. Like that's not a guarantee. None of neither of these are easy twos, really. So, and if I miss short to the short basket, it's a pretty easy up and down to the long. I'm gonna go for that again. I got way too much of that one. That's about 70 right and long. Not good. All right, the door has certainly been left wide open here. I'm going back to the wheelhouse, the sole. Oh, gosh. I don't have a flippy putter, and this thing flies basically like a putter, so I might as well hit it. Uh, I think I'm just trying to park it again. Same strategy as hole one. Low and turning. Behind a tree, but like, what, 20? Yeah, five maybe pretty good it should be i should be able to make that if trevor misses so my line is there 
behind this tree basket. So not exactly a makeable putt, which I think makes Trevor's, yeah, Trevor's options pretty simple. He's just going to go from there to the long basket that's peeping over the hill right there. Trevor just claimed he's going to make this. I think I'm making this. If I can get it there, it's going in. Not even close. That was horrendous. I take that back. That was awful. I just got himself a real tickler here. Putting on these Mach one and a halfs. Circa 1850. Wow, pretty confident there. He's just staring at me like he's Kobe Bryant. <laughs> Six fifteen footer, bro. <laughs> We're approaching the green and no sign of Trevor's disc. Got eaten by a bear. Solid chance that it's in oh that gosh. that thick stuff. And he drills it. Alright, hole three. So this one, the short basket, is like literally dead straight ahead, 200 feet. The long one goes into the woods a bit. So there's a significant difference. And Hunter's got the T. Going with the color shift banger. Just kind of I'm going for the short basket if that wasn't already clear. Um I feel like it's tough. If you go for the short basket and you hit it, you're gonna be parked. So then Trevor could decide to like go to 20 feet. You think Regardless, I can aim to 20 feet? Valid. Regardless, I'm gonna just kind of hit this out to the right a little bit and let it cruise in. I could just ace it and then you have to go long. That'd be nice. Yeah, let's go ahead. Okay, so I lied. I'm placing it strategically just in between both pins. What the heck was that? It was a grip lock and. Did you get lost in the weight room last night? What? Did you get lost in the weight room last night? <laughs> I don't know Sheesh. what happened. I'm gonna feel like a real idiot if I don't get this now. <laughs> come on, come on. Anti skip right next to that. Oh my goodness. That's makeable. Yeah, but I barely even try to. That's deceptively short. Deceptively. I would have to be clinically insane to go for the short from here. Considering if I miss it and Trevor makes it, I would just be jump putting back to where I'm standing. So I'm just trying to make this here. Uh oh. Get on your horse. Oh, saved by the bell. There you go. Oh, he cans it. Back right. up one. All right, hole four. We're going through this gap, and then the short basket's up there on the right. The long basket's all the way. Oh, you can kind of see it. Out there. You play this tunnel out to there. Not an easy hole either way, but also not hard, if that makes any sense. This is tricky. We're going to go forehand drone and just try and get that short basket. Tough shot, though. Low ceiling. I don't like it at all. Matter of fact, I hate it. I'm not gonna throw that shot. <laughs> That's an ace. Ooh. Play. 15 feet, we'll take it. All right, Hunter's got a decision to make here. It looks like he's gonna try and line up that shot as well. I think I'm gonna try to just get farther away from the short than Trevor, make it, and then he's not gonna have an easy up and down to the long from where right. he's lying. So that I think that's what I gotta do. Makes sense. The first tree, ideally. Oh, well, you are further away. You did accomplish well, that. Now what do I do? <laughs> I guess I'm going long. Oh, he's pured it. A little short, but you can't do much better than that. Definitely thought he missed that. Clean up. This is yet another stroke. All right, so hole five here. 255 feet to the short basket, dead straight, mando on this tree here, uh, and then along you can see kind of peeping through the trees, it's, what is that, 75 feet longer, according to the T sign, Trevor is up first, and he's also up two now. So what we're going to do here, the long and short basket are kind of in line with each other, so what I'm thinking is I'm going to just throw a forehand as hard as I can towards the two trees that are behind the short basket. If I get through, 
hopefully I'm close to the long basket. If I don't, if I hit the tree, I'm close to the short. Oh, and I turfed it. Be good. Roll down the hill. Oh, yeah. What? Oh yeah, that's some English. Come on. Oh, now stop. But finish right by that tree there. Not good at all. Go for the long and see what happens. If I end up by the short, I'm by the short. Uh, yeah, I mean, I stand by it. I didn't execute it, but... Oh, no. Folks, that's Mr. Mando. I've never in my life done that. Not even once. First time for everything. So now we have a real big issue. Is that a retee? What is Mando rule? I mean, there's no drop zone on the sign. Okay. So what's the other, what else? So batter up. What's my other option? I guess there is none. You better hope you park that basket now. Yeah. He just clears the hill. This is not good. This is okay. not good at all. <laughs> And he's launched it. Okay, but then if Trevor misses and stays close, that could work in my advantage. It's true. Until I throw a forehand as hard as I can. <laughs> Stay up. Oh, baby. Gosh. It's that kind of day. It's that kind of day. Come on. <laughs> Figured out my best bet at giving it a little run and still staying close. This tap like This tap look real good though. Look how green this is compared to the band. Almost made me miss the puck because I got distracted by it. All right, so through five holes, Trevor's up six, which is not good. I still can't see. But, what is he doing? I can't see the basket. Um, but at the same time, we're only through five holes. We're not even a third of the way through the round. I'm still pretty confident I can pull this off. It's gonna be one heck of a comeback, but let me show you the hole we're on right now. So the short basket's just over this hill, uh, kind of underneath that dark tree you see there. Then in the long basket, if you see that leafy green in the middle of the frame, is like 45 long left of that. This is not one that the short and long are right next to each other, so. Could be a big, big separating hole. All right. I guess we're gonna go for the short basket. It's been working. Let's go CT jawbreak wasp. What the heck are you doing then? Pull me fast. Oh, that's awful. Well, the door's open. Found that same buzz he just annihilated the tree with. I did the same thing as freaking Trevor. He's pulled it high. Come on, she'll be coming around the mountain. Come on. Oh my gosh. That's not good. Well, at least I'm out. At least I have to He's make got a positivity. <laughs> wow, good thing that we can see your feet there. <laughs> that vertical is something. I feel like you just threw that a mile long. What is, <laughs> how far is that? Uh, did not look. I almost made it height wise, which is not a good sign. <laughs> <laughs> the downhill. So one thing I didn't take into account is the fact that with the long grass, we can't see where my disc is. I feel like you threw that really far. I mean, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna just lay up and give you a chance. To give you a chance to make your three and make me take a four. I'll give you your chance. So I'll just lay up. Or I'll just lay it up. Nice layup. Whatever. Well executed. That was not easy. <laughs> he said literally not like five minutes ago. I've never had a really bad spit out on these baskets. I actually like putting into them. I think they're great. Like they found those chains in like my grandpa's backyard. Dang it. Under a tree somewhere. I mean it was left. Don't get me wrong. But it was low left. That's sitting on any other basket. All right, well, crap. Oh, oh. oh. No. Eh, 
That's not bad. Prodigy won't spit that one out. <laughs> Famous <laughs> you've last never word. Heard before. Yeah. Take his 12 and get out. There you go. I don't want to talk about it. And we head into the woods. Trevor's up eight. Pole seven. Goes through this gap, short baskets up to the right, long baskets down to the left. I feel like that short basket shot's kind of tricky, huh? It is. I might just throw this to the long. Oh, let's get outside. Pick right. There's nothing good about that at all. Not a great idea. Oh, he's kind of ripped over on that. A lot of height, a lot of speed. Where's that at? Um, I saw it flash the basket. Short? In front of it. Which There's a hill behind it, so I don't know where it landed, but okay. it could be good, could be bad. All right, we got Trevor down in here. He's most likely gonna be playing to the long. I went about 35 deep of the short, but I have just as easy look at, and by easy, it's not easy, but the same look at the long as the short, so I've got options. Trevor looks like he's lined up a scuba. That would be filthy. Oh no. Thank you. Oh, and he gets a little bit of a roll, so he will get to putt again. Very fortunate. He makes this, I'll have to go back to the short basket. Since this basket will be locked. He'll get a stroke on me. He does get it. First three. Alright, let's cut it down to seven. It's moving the right direction. You gotta take your medicine sometimes. All right, so he'll have that. Easy tap out to lose only one stroke. So hole eight, this is an interesting one. Short pin is straight up the hill. Long pin is about 60 feet behind it and slightly left. So not a huge difference in the shot, really, just the distance. Hunter now has a tee back. To, to start his charge. Going back right. to that, that old trusty TI buzz. That like, he it's worked so well for me in this video. What I'm gonna try to do is just kind of blitz it past the short where we can't see where my disc is and make Trevor make a decision. That's definitely the play. Oh, I love that. Oh, I think All right. I not exactly what I wanted, but got the result I wanted. Here. All right, Trevor said he's doing the same exact thing. Which is probably a good, good idea. Get off that. Did that skip forward? Skip just straight up, yeah. Okay, so similar, I guess, but not quite as good position. This should be interesting. So Hunter and I ended up being very... Where are you? Right there. Hunter and I are very close, and obviously we're playing relative to the short basket to see who goes first. Yeah, 11's here, so you're longer. So I'm out, and I'll get to go first, which I'm not sure I like. Oh, that's so bad. No! Alright, this is not this is not good. Hunter now is a pretty short putt, and I have to go back down to the shorts and take a four. No way. Oh, shoot. I thought it was in my back. Well, who's out now? All right. So, after close delegation and a lot of arguing, um, a lot of arguing. Basically, I was 11 steps and Trevor was 10 and a half when I like stepped like this. Pretty much. So, it's me. Somehow. All right. Takes his three. Looks like I'm going to have to pitch down to the short basket. Which is kind of daunting. On the hop. Wow, okay, perfect. That oh, that almost that popped back out. Off the pole, man. <laughs> Jeez, still need that. All right, I gave him another one. Hole nine is one of the shortest holes of the course. 120 feet to the short, 160 feet to the long. They're pretty much the long is just like 40 feet like that. So I'm gonna try to put this like 20 feet long left of the basket. Some 2020. Wow. Hasn't worked out this year, but the date 2020. All right, yeah, we got it. Step up and throw. <laughs> Kevin Hart. Oh, 
That looks all right. It was shorter than I wanted, but I have an open look at both baskets, which all is right. at the end of the day what I was looking for. Trevor's going for the ace run, which would be the first ace on the channel. Never a chance. That's long though, holy cow. I've never tried that, that's not good. If Trevor misses this, I should be able to get another stroke. Or two. Come on. I thought you oh. didn't like these baskets. They like me. They <laughs> sure do today, they that's for like sure. Me. Oh, he's what the heck was that? Pushed it. A little roll into the woods. What yee. am I doing? Yee. And it's looking like another two-stroke swing. Those two strokes he just got back on the last two holes. He absolutely pukes him up on the next one. And he's right back to where he started with nine to play. Dang! All right, welcome to hole 10. Short basket, straight away right there. Long baskets, center of the frame over there, but you can't see it. I'm trying to throw a forehand right in between them, I think. Good strategy by Trevor. I still feel like I have a chance. I probably shouldn't. That chance is dying. It's dying very fast. Quickly. I definitely needed to make that putt that I missed. Or for you to miss the putt that you made. Either way, here we are. Or I'm just gonna throw away right. Okay. So he's gotta basically throw towards the long basket and get further right so he's further away from the short basket and gets the putt at the long basket first. I know Man. that sounded confusing because it kind of is. Well, I think you did it. Oh, big skip down the mountain. I did what I wanted to do, but not how I wanted to do it. And with the assist <laughs> from the tree limb. I, that, that was so far right until it hit that tree. <laughs> Gracious, this guy's calling upon Mother Nature now for the assist. All right, well, Trevor's hit 17 of these already today, so gas me up like that. I fully expect this one to go in and us push this hole, but we shall see. Yeah, I mean, who right you are, sir. Didn't expect anything different. Hole 11. Trevor is on the streak of his life with putting right now. Gonna make him hard to beat, but I still have a small glimmer of hope. I'm zooming in on where the short basket kind of is, but you can't see it. And then the long basket's just farther down that hill. I'll have the balls foggiest in, idea. The ball's in Trevor's court here. I'll have the foggiest idea for either of these baskets. Nice there. <laughs> I went over the basket by like an inch. I thought that was all over it. Well, that's interesting. That's pretty long of the long basket. See what that does. I'm running out of holes to gain strokes on, but I don't think I can really do anything on this one because we have no idea where Trevor's disc is. So I'm gonna just try to play to the short, assuming that that's my best play. I don't know. I'm I don't know what to do anymore. Okay. Should be close. That's about as close as you can get to the short basket, I think. Oh, that's not bad. So we'll see. I mean, come on. Good catch there. You know if that was my putt, that thing was coming out so fast. It's your day, it's your day. All right. This is the first time we've tied a hole in a while, isn't it? I almost spoke too soon, but... <laughs> it, you're assuming I make that. <laughs> hole 12 here. Straight shot to the short. And then the long is just long right of that. Um, again, you can't see the long. Now that I'm talking about these holes, you can never see the long basket. Almost ever. No. Gonna just try and throw it in between. See what happens. Smart play if he can execute it. Or throw it in for street. The good news is you're definitely farthest out. Well, I guess I shouldn't talk yet. I might Sorry. I might hit That's an earlier right tree. Alright, opportunities come knocking here. See I just he... gotta put this close to the short so that he has to go to the long. Basically. Um not sure on your logic there. What do you mean? I put this close to the he short. He puts it close to the short. I throw an upshot to the short, which is further from your disc. I get to putt again. Wow. Yeah. So you really want to park the longs. 
Thanks for the help there, Chief. You're welcome. You but can do use I want to park the longs? I don't know what you want to do. I want to be out to the short after. You want to not be down eight with eight to play or six to play. I'm gonna throw it into the short. Whatever there is. Can't see where that finished, but it looked all right. Exactly, that's what I want. Oh no! Oh no! I want to say I just didn't focus enough there. It wasn't as hard as I made that look. And by golly, that's inside me. Oh gosh, that sounded bad, but I've got a shot at it. All right, so really big putt for him here. If he makes this, he takes a two. And I'm looking at four at best. Oh, he does indeed make it. There was no doubt on that one. I knew, I knew that was it. What? What the heck is up with this guy today? Okay, hole 13. Um, the long pin is up the hill. You just see the top of the basket, barely. Short pin is kind of a little bit left and short behind that grouping of trees. Um, another hole, like, like a lot of these, were probably Hunter strategy is to throw in between the two pins. Yeah. I give himself mean, options. That's where I've got to be. Yeah. Right in between. Uh, I got to make up one stroke per hole. One stroke per hole. I tie it up. We go to a playoff. And I make a 100 foot straddle putt to win. One stroke per hole. That's all I'm focused on. Oh, there's some turn in that boy. Oh no, slaps the tree. Not great. Okay, so maybe like no strokes this hole, two strokes next hole, then one stroke per hole. All right, so Trevor's going for the long basket here. Because in theory, if he parks the long basket, he's farther from the short than me. I think he can just tap out a two. It's all about the execution though. And he's done it, I think. I think it might be a little bit longer, but that's fine either way. We'll take it. All right, that's Trevor's got like a 20, 25 footer. Yeah, okay. He's farther from the short, so it's his his go. He's out. It's a little bit of a low ceiling. Unfortunate for me because if he makes this, I have like a 45 footer at the short. Look at the way he's been putting this in all day. All right, he's, he's still out from the short. So I still have a chance to take a stroke. That's ice cold right there. That was a good putt. So hole 14, um, both pins are like 150 feet away. Short pin is like dead straight. You can't really see, but the long pin is just to the left of that. I would say a good 60 or 70 feet. So probably another hole where yet again the strategy might be to throw, you know, right in between it. I'm going to try to go flat here and let it just kind of do its thing, hopefully right in between both baskets. Well said. That first string on the left looking good though. Oh, he clears it. He's executed that very well. It's a little further left than I'd like, but should be what I want. Alright, so Trevor's going to try to attack the long basket in hopes of being further left than I am. We'll see how it works out. Oh, what? Invisible tree. Question is, is he further out than me? Which basket is he going I mean, to? You're making that putt too, so that would just be foolish. This is like a short basket. So Hunter can either tap out to the longs or he can throw the you know 15, 20 footer to short here and make me putt my own 25 footer to the longs. He takes this, what I think is the right move here and it's gonna make me try and putt to that long basket. Better make this. He bangs it. Drills it. That was a scary putt. 
terrifying. If he missed that putt, I wasn't going to say it because I wasn't a, the biggest jerk, but look at this hillside he was going down. That was a cliff. That, that could have been, I could have tied it up on this hole realistically. That was make or break time right there. All right, so hole 15 here, long basket, dead ahead, about 160 feet. There's a big old hillside that the basket kind of sits atop and then a little bit down and to the left is where the short basket is. So there's a lot of possibilities here. What is, what's the move here, Connor? Four holes, four strokes. The game plan stays the same. I just gotta put this in between both and hopefully gain one more stroke this hole. All right, tough gap to hit. As it is. Pure that line. Oh, big, big movement down to the left there. I think I'm fine. I think oh. it's where I want to be. That gap you split is not an easy gap. All right, Trevor's gonna try to park the long here. That was a really tough gap there. That, that was impressive. Uh-oh. This might be the start of something here. All right, Saunders got about 10 feet up the hill. Handles that. Well done. All right, the biggest thing I have going for me here is that this basket is it's very short. Real bad from this angle. It is very short. So Trevor does not have much room for error on this putt. He hasn't shown he's needed much previous putts. But this putt he did. Uh oh. Now we got ourselves a ball game. Three strokes, three holes. Here we go. Uh, I can tell Trevor's starting to feel it now. That was nervous laughter right there. Okay, so this 16 here, I've got three strokes, three to play. I'm just holding on to my lead for dear life. Uh, this one is going to be the make or break hole because the you see the Mando there. And then if you want to get down to the long pin, it's like down the hill pretty far. The short pin kind of stays up on the hill a bit more and is in a much different location. So there's no telling what needs to be done here. I think I'm still just going in between. Oh, interesting strategy. Ooh, it's down there. What are you thinking about that? I have no idea where it is actually. Okay. I'm trying to think of relation to the short basket. I know I'm on this side of the creek, which means I'm not close to the long basket, but also doesn't mean I'm close to the short basket. You going to the long? Kind of just throwing it. To be okay, honest. Trevor's just throwing the wasp on some Annie. Seeing what happens here. You need to make this man. Though. We can't have. We have no clue where my disc is. I could be parked. I could be 60. No way to tell. He cooked that. You get good skips down that hill. Well, one thing's for sure. He's farther out from the short than me. Yeah. We know that much. I don't hate that spot for the long pan. I don't hate it. All right, so Trevor's got an interesting play here. He's deep in those woods. The obvious answer is just plopping it out just short of my disc and making a putt. But for some reason, he just talked himself or he's scared of that. And he, he's looking like he's going to try to go the long basket and, you know, as long as I can make my putt, cough up a stroke. <laughs> oh no. That wasn't good. That's not even, that's not a gimme. It never was. You're still out technically. And I'm going to make you putt because I want to see what I'm, what I'm putting for here. Oh, baby. Oh, my gosh. So, wait a minute. It's four. So. It's a four. Okay. Okay. So, I can cut it to one with two to play. Yep. I'm standing by that decision because I really think if I would have laid up, I was going to be shaky on that 25-footer, miss it, and then take a five because I would have to come back this way. All right. Hunter's got this to continue to make my worst nightmare come true oh almost spit through <laughs> well folks he's one done it two to play. he's got it to one, one stroke, stroke ahead of the game plan which means instead of a playoff you're just gonna see me win this guy's starting to get real annoying <laughs> next time he leaves the office for a couple weeks it might not pan out in his favor all right pivotal hole 17 long basket 
is up to the right up there. Okay, pretty far hyzer. Short basket is that way. Honestly, almost just as long. And you can either go through that tunnel, which is tough, low ceiling, or you can take it wide. So Hunter's gonna go first. He's very confident. He's about to just put it right below, right underneath. I'm starting to think basket. now. Oh, he's thinking. I'm going a long basket either way. But I think I would try to put it like 30 feet right. Okay. Give myself a 30 footer. If you want to try going farther right than me, you're flirting with the OB. Right. So that will make you have to get to the short basket, which... I just don't think I can get to that short basket exactly. on a big hyzer. We're going to find out what my arm's going to I just don't think you can get to the short basket in general. Because going up the middle is so tough to get to the short I'm not doing that. That's never happening. So I think I just got to place this and then see what you can come up with. Hmm. So the question is, how do I place it where I want it? Yeah, because that road is OB that runs all the way up and the I right side. I think I'm going to try to play a skip shot off the road. Oh, baby. <laughs> I think. That's exciting, golf. Oh, he skipped it off the road. A double skip. That, That's actually like 30 short. It's short. So not at all what I was trying to do. All right, so Trevor just talked through about 78 options. Decided. Yeah, I, I hated every one of them. Decided his play is to go to the long basket and hope. Wait, what are you hoping? I'm hoping I park the long basket or get close enough to where I'm making the putt. So the pressure's on you to have to make the 30 footer. You miss it. You end up taking a four, I take a two. Okay. Oh, it flipped over. No way. Oh, give me a skip. She's back in bounds. Dak. Well, that's interesting because now he's in bounds and farther out than me. I've got a putt to basically put you away. Yeah, you do. That Punisher just flipped up. Uphill. That, what was that? What? This is shocking. All right, Trevor's got, basically has to make this putt. I don't think he has another option. Sure don't. What if I were to throw it right behind your disc? Take a three. Then I would take a three to the short. What are you talking about? Yeah, I'm just I'm just speaking my mind. I'm just trying to make sure I'm consulting all my options. Oh my gosh. Come on, clutch time. Stay up. No! Here we go, folks. I have a putt to go up one, basically, and 18. All right, Hunter's got about a 15 footer to put me in the grave. I, I don't, I just don't understand how this happened. I still didn't, did I even give up more than two strokes on a hole? Like what is happening? This guy gave up like four strokes earlier. I thought, oh, you, I thought you missed it. Oh, that should have fell out. He gets the same catch that I missed on the last the one. Of course gives, the course takes away. Down, down, down. Oh, I just definitely threw this one away. Drains it. All right, the final and pivotal hole. You've now watched me choke away, which was, I think, an eight-stroke lead. Not great. Um, you can't see the baskets, but the short one kind of goes through the gap and then a little bit to the left. I think it plays 195. The long pin is straight ahead with a big downslope behind it and it plays about 230. So there's a, somebody's probably losing this hole. It's not really a pushable hole. Baskets are far apart. Mm. I think that's actually in between. That's those, probably in between. Which is not, actually it's not bad. Should be okay. Oh, I yanked it. And that's it. That's it, folks. I'm gonna have to throw something in now. Dang it. 150 or so out. I'm not leaving the short, I promise you that. And I pushed it so far away. I'm long of you, though. I get I put again. <laughs> oh, he drills it. So I now have to get up and down. That two. was honestly to keep my good name because I didn't want to lose by more than one. So I got to get up and down from that orange to the green basket. Oh, I, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Are you kidding me? I don't think it went down the hill all the way. 
but that was crazy. That was such a like easy. The backwards, play, right? the upside down putter was such a move though. <laughs> he slid. That was a mystery how that slid. It literally like curled up to the pole, slid off of it, started on a roll angle, hit the tree, turned that way, and he's got. I mean, it's a 20 footer, but it's a lot scarier than the tap in he wanted. I mean, if I'm this guy, I'm this thing's going nowhere near the basket right now. He's got to make this to complete the comeback, or it's playoff time. Oh, he drills a dead center. Never a question. Your voice literally just cracked. I know. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that's going to wrap it up. It feels good to get another win, especially in this fashion. I think that's the biggest comeback I've ever had. I think I have to resign. The second biggest comeback was on Pete. You Ooh. don't know who Pete is, but Trevor does. And hopefully Pete's watching this so he can... Sasquatch Open? What was that? <laughs> Sasquatch Open, something like that. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. It's starting to rain now, so we're not going to shoot a second one today. Uh, but check the links in the description below to our Discord, Patreon, website, Instagram, Facebook, all that good stuff. Other than that, we'll see you in the next one.